We're making a cup! Hey guys, welcome back, that's Bike Guy, I'm Guy, and today we are back in Magic of Voxel once again, taking a look at how to make a mug, a cup, that's it. I have no other intro for you. So we're gonna get started really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the delete key to get rid of everything in our scene, because we don't need all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and go to the third palette here, so I have a blank slate to work with, which is always nice. We'll go down here to color, and we'll choose a color for our, um, for our mug. I want it to be maybe something kind of bright and bouncy i usually always do something with blue so we'll do maybe a green we'll do a green mug today and instead of with the, i say this all the time but instead of going 100 percent with the saturation we will go um we'll, we'll bring the saturation down so it's not as vibrant so it's not as harsh on the eyes um and we'll shift it a little bit to the uh to the yellows for this actually so that's pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and hit the b tool up here for a box and i'll go down to the grid and turn the grid on so we can see what we're doing a bit easier um, and we'll make sure this is on attached, so we have a little bit of stuff to work with here. Um, and I'll just go ahead and I'll just draw a box uh, around there. And you can see down at the bottom, you see those numbers moving down there? We want to make sure those are the same for the X and the Y, because we want our mug to be the same size. Um, so I'm going to do something kind of uh, kind of miniature here. So we'll do maybe uh, 6 by uh, 6. Uh, we'll do... We'll do, yeah, we'll do 6x6, six six. there we go. So we'll do 6x6, six six, and now we can go ahead and go up to this uh, L tool right here, and we'll just add on uh, the edges all around our, our, our mug. So this will just be uh, all the way around, just like that, and then we can use the F tool, which is the face tool, to just pull that up like that. So that looks pretty good. So that's uh, the basis for our, our cup. We're done. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> uh, we, have, uh, we have to make a handle, so we're going to go ahead and, and go to the voxel tool here. We'll just put two voxels there. Put two voxels there, and we can use the face tool to just pull those out by clicking on both of those. Go back to the voxel tool, just put one, two there, and then we can use the vo the face tool to pull that down. Now we have a um, a handle, which is nice. We can actually pull this handle back one if we wanted to by um going ahead, hitting face tool one time right there, then going to erase, and then just erasing that inside right there. Give a little bit of a bigger handle, which looks nice. We can do that. Yeah, sure inside this is the big this is the big thing right here you want to decide you have to make a very 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 big decision right here all right and i know it might be a bit stressful but uh you need to decide what you want to put in your mug it's very difficult this decision but what i'm going to do is i think we're going to go for uh some hot chocolate i think we're going to do some hot chocolate so i'm going to go ahead and go to a uh, different color second color there in the palette and we'll just uh, desaturate a lot We'll maybe we'll lighten it up a bit, maybe pull it a little less to the red, a little more to the yellow. And we'll just go ahead and hit the uh, fill button, the face button a couple times on attach. We'll just fill up our hot chocolate mug like that. Looking good. Yeah, definitely. I definitely like that. Um, and maybe, um, maybe do I want to do like some steam? Maybe I want to do some steam. We'll do that. Do a little bit of smoke coming off the top. So we'll go and do a third color here and we'll do almost white almost white not all the way white but almost white and maybe with a little bit of blue so i'll go to like a teal color give it a ever ever so slight saturation and then uh, now what i want to do here is we'll use the voxel tool and we'll just start from about right there and we'll just go up a couple couple blocks maybe four or five and then i want to erase these because i don't want it to actually touch the um the hot chocolate they can't touch all right so now we uh, we need to go to attach, and we'll just I'll just kind of sprinkle these in, and maybe get it a bit thicker right right here maybe, and then we'll just go up kind of in like a diagonal snake kind of looking thing like that, and I want to start tapering it off now, try and make it look like it's going forward a little bit more, just uh, rotating constantly to see where I want to get rid of voxels. All right, so I think that looks pretty good like that. I want to go ahead and grab this uh, select tool here. We'll just uh, drag a box over top of that. Use this move tool to move it down a little bit, maybe over a little bit, something like that. Maybe connect those up. Um, and now I want to have this kind of go off the side, so we'll select everything, all this, all the smoke rather, and then we'll just uh, move this a little to the left there, a little to the left. All right, I like that, and I think this is still way too much. We'll go off to the select side and then hit uh, none, and I'm gonna get rid of all of this right here. So we'll just have those three voxels. Those three voxels definitely let us know what's going on. They let us know that it's hot. Maybe even just two. Actually, no, I want to undo that uh i want to put one right here and then when i want to erase that one yes that's what i want that's perfect that's perfect i love it so much all right we're gonna go to iso uh, isometric right now we're hit this uh iso camera instead of perspective looks much better uh, in my opinion anyway and we'll hit this little corner right there to to, to 100 focused out on the corner now this one's looking weird i want to go ahead and move that off to the side and then we'll hit erase 
on that one. There we go. Now nothing's 100% in line and center, um, but I do want to select uh, this guy, hold on shift, and we'll select all the steam, and I'll move it up one so it's not touching that cup. Yeah, that's so much better. All right, I love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, now we can go to render. Make sure we got everything the way we need it. I do not want any sun intensity. I don't want any of that. Um, I do want the sky, and I do want a little bit of the fog. Uh, we'll do all the fog. Why not? And maybe we'll do uh, the area all the way up as well. So that's uh, that's looking good right there. Um, I also want to go ahead and do a little bit of depth of field here. Um, so what I'll do is uh, we'll make these sizes better. So we'll do 2,000 by 2,000, and then we'll bump the uh, sampling up. All right, so I think that looks pretty good for our uh, our our cup right there. What I want to do is that before we uh, sign off really quickly, I do want to change the color of this this uh, this handle though. It's bugging me. I want to do a yellow for the handle. Um, and we'll desaturate once again. Never want to go 100% saturation. Um, we'll go to voxel. Make sure we're on paint, and we'll just paint these. These voxels here, just to make sure that they're uh, they're yellow, and I want to put this I want to put this back where it was. So we'll go ahead and go to face select, attach, attach that one, and then erase this side right here. It was just too big to me. Um, now with the actual green cup itself, I want to go ahead and get another green color here, but I want to make this one a bit darker. And we'll paint on just the edges here, just the corners. A little bit of anti-aliasing. This is too dark, obviously, but we'll fix that in a second. Um, so that looks good like that um, and I want to go all three we'll do all three all three uh, edges right here and you'll see why in a second because uh, we're gonna do two levels of anti-aliasing really quickly here um, there we go uh, and right there so we'll just go ahead and lighten this um, and then saturate it a bit more bring it to the blue uh, and lighten it a little bit more desaturate yeah, all right, so then we'll do a third color, and the final color will, be, of course, be the same green. Not the same green, but a, a similar to green. We'll paint that right there, get a little bit of that anti-aliasing going on, which looks very nice. Um, so there we go. So on all of those corners there. Um, and let me turn grid off for a second. Yeah, all right, so that's a little too dark and a little needs to be saturated, and we'll pull it to the blue a little bit more. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And we got a yellow. I want to do the yellow. We'll push it to the red side. <coughs> And then we will uh, desaturate. Same thing for the uh, edges of the handle right there as well. And we'll do maybe one more. Just an even darker of an orange or like reddish. Something like that. And we'll just do one of the edges right there and we'll alternate. Yeah. And uh, that needs to be saturated. Brightened. Pulled a little to the yellow. There we go. That looks good. I like that. I like that. I like that. And finally, for the hot chocolate, I want to do... A double chocolate layer, double chocolate. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so we'll go ahead and paint that right there in the middle. We'll of course saturate it, brighten it, desaturate a little bit, pull to the red. There we go, looking good. I love it. And then one, one more. I know. Uh, and then we'll just get a little bit darker of a color right there on that edge. Of course, we need to brighten that, saturate it, less red. Actually, darken rather, desaturate, less red. Saturate. This is a process. There we go, right about there. Like it. I love it. I like it. All right. Uh, so that's gonna be it for our our hot chocolate. Uh, after all, back to uh, uh, back back to uh, isometric, and then back to the rendered viewport. There we go. That is beautiful. Hope you guys enjoyed making some hot chocolate with me today. I want to go ahead and do some depth of field as well. So we'll go ahead and just click on an area that we want to be in focus, which is about right there. And then I'll just turn the depth of field up just ever so slightly. Uh, maybe a little bit of exposure, a little bit of Vignant. Uh, um, we'll go ahead and go to Aces, turn that on because I love the way that looks for this. And then, of course, we'll do a little bit more depth of field. Click that right there. A little bit of exposure. Uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today's hot chocolate and magic voxel. We can go ahead and rotate this a little bit if you want to. Something about right there maybe instead. Yeah, I love it. I like it so much. I love voxels and you guys seem to love voxels as well. So let me know what you want to see voxelized next time and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.